Hey you guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel, make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you check out SavvyNaturalista.com for all your skincare needs. With that being said, in today's battle of the dupes, or which one should you buy, we will be putting Peter Thomas Roth water drench hyaluronic cloud cream hydrating moisturizer to the test with bliss cream to water hydrating all day moisturizer it's $20 for 1.7 ounces and this is really lightweight so when I opened it I didn't think it would have a lot of product but it did have a lot of product and you will get 1.7 ounces and even though this is a mini that will run you $22 1.7 ounces of Peter Thomas Roth cream is $52 so it's a huge price difference and if you could get a dupe at Target which you can find this at Target and Ulta y'all know I don't shop at Ulta because I had a rough experience there but I may someday in the future I just been like I'm not dealing with y'all at Ulta I really can't y'all 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 it's not even the company it's just sometimes you know certain stores have bad apples with that being said this is not my about my experience at Ulta this is about the cream with that being said I did purchase it at Target and the first three ingredients that actually make this product a dupe is that they have both of the first three ingredients the same I will say the only major difference that I did see is Peter Thomas Roth does have a lot of more a lot more of extracts um, plant-based uh, products in there as well as they do have sodium hyaluronate in their water cream however that is really the major only ingredient that they had in my opinion that was different from the bliss uh water cream was the sodium hyaluronate and i also do want to say peter thomas roth does have mica in their products so if you are kind of iffy on colorants they do have mica however it is the last ingredient and I looked and looked at the ingredient list all night and I'm still looking right now because I was doing research and I didn't see fragrance in the Peter Thomas Roth one however uh, Bliss does have fragrance so you may put that may be a drawback from you and you may just want to try the Peter Thomas Roth um, mini however I just decided to mention that to you just in case you do decide to buy the product or you're new to the product okay you guys so if you can see both products one is a blue creamy texture and the other one is a white creamy texture so we're gonna go ahead and start off with swatching Peter Thomas Roth first for you guys so I'm just gonna take a little out it is much a much thicker texture than a uh, bliss I will say but so can you guys see so that is Peter Thomas Roth and now let's go ahead and swatch bliss and that's bliss well, the textures really do look the same I will say filling wise Peter Thomas Roth is a much thicker texture okay you guys so for this video I did go ahead and exfoliate my skin I did a chemical exfoliation with the ordinary's uh, peeling solution so I just wanted to let you guys know that if my skin looks different and you see a lot more hydration and a lot more benefits I did go ahead and exfoliate my skin just so we can see the real detail let's go ahead and do Peter Thomas Roth this is how much I am using I am using about I would say a thick uh i would say about a thick nickel size amount i may need less but let's just see for now so let's just dab it on okay i used it all i got just a little bit <laughs> left so we're gonna go ahead and put it on our face it is really thick they should have called this a jelly cream it's really jelly i like it look at that so that's what it looks like so now that I have Peter Thomas Roth on one side of my face, I'm going to go ahead and use Bliss. And I am using the same amount, about a heavy quarter size to dime size amount. I would say about a thick quarter size amount of product. So yeah, I don't want y'all to sit there. And it's funny, I use the uh, thick side, a thick amount of product, but I need just a little bit more with Bliss. So I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more and see now i will say with bliss it's more of a water base it's not jelly like it's very 
a very thin base so it's a little bit thinner on the thinner side and looks way more water hydrated than, uh, Peter Thomas Roth so I'm gonna go ahead and rub it in really really well because this is looking water look at how watery it looks wow okay you guys so I am all up in your face so this is Peter Thomas Roth and this is bliss can you guys see Peter Thomas Roth? And this is Bliss. Okay, I will say Peter Thomas Roth did sit on my face for a very long time. So I'm going to go ahead and wait five minutes and let Bliss sort of, you know, absorb into the skin. I've rubbed it in as much as I could. So you're going to get this dewy look with Bliss. I mean, as I rub it in, it's like the water is smearing all over my skin. Okay, you guys. So I let the cream sit for five minutes and surprisingly it literally penetrated into my skin so it's not as watery so you know I'm happy okay you guys so I'm all up in your face so this is bliss if you can see it's still dewy but it's not watered looking like really watery so this is bliss and this is Peter Thomas Roth. Now, the interesting thing about this situation is like, while Bliss looks like your face is literally drenched, but I do have a lot of texture right in here. You guys can see. And on this side, I have a pimple here <laughs> and a pimple right there. So you guys know I did just exfoliate my skin so you know it's looking I mean I never get pimples when I exfoliate so you know I am getting a breakout right here from the Peter Thomas Roth and a breakout here and then there's texture on this side of my face which is really interesting so you guys uh, let's talk about it okay you guys so is bliss a dupe for Peter Thomas Roth I'm actually gonna go ahead and give it to bliss it is a dupe the funny thing is when you google uh, drenched water cream or Peter Thomas Roth cloud cream bliss actually comes up so I don't know how they did that with SEO but they did it and it comes up right next to the Peter Thomas Roth in the ad section which is really interesting just go ahead and do a Google search and you'll see it uh, or just Google water cloud cream and bliss comes right up with Peter Thomas Roth with that being said I'm going to say it is a dupe however it's based on what you're looking for like if you don't like that dewy sweaty look you may want to stay away from bliss because it's going to give you that really dewy sweaty look and I don't know how much I can rub it in my skin and I will say bliss did give my skin a lot of texture however Peter with Thomas Roth is out here giving me breakouts so you know maybe the cream isn't just for me both of them at all so you know what I can't sit there and assess and say oh one is worse than the other one because one gave me a few breakouts and the other one gave me texture so you know it's a dupe <laughs> <laughs> with that being said one is not better than the other it's virtually a dupe I think the only difference is if you like a lot of hydration like bliss is giving you a lot of hydration like you will be looking sweaty so you may use you may need to use way less like a dot like I would say about a net not even a nickel maybe a dime size amount maybe a pin drop you would probably need a pearl size you know that little pearl size little scoop Tatcha gives you to pearl size and put it in you may actually put it in your hand and rub it into your skin you may actually need that little scoop and a pearl size amount because a lot goes a long way with bliss so you're not looking sweaty i also want to say they virtually feel the same uh, i will say the only difference is bliss feels way way lighter so if you want a more heavier dense cream you may want to go with Peter Thomas Roth however if you don't care about all those little minor details and that doesn't phase you you just want to know is it a dupe or not then it actually is a dupe however if you are very particular and you like minor details that's what I'm here for to give you the particulars and the minor details and I will say if you're looking for a heavier cream 
cream that absorbs really quickly into the skin and that's not water-based, then go ahead and go for Peter Thomas Roth. And I also want to say this, more than likely with Bliss, because it's such a water-drenching cream, I would prefer it as a night cream. Also, I wouldn't, if you're going to use it as a day cream, add something else to your skin because it's very lightweight and even though they say it's an all-day hydration and it really is looking like an all-day hydration however it does look like it's going to dry soon and depending on the climate you are in you may need to add an spf or some other type of cream to lock in the bliss however with peter thomas roth even though i recommend if you're going to go out using spf Peter Thomas Roth is not that water. It's a very heavy jelly-like base cream. So you may not need a, another cream with the Peter Thomas Roth. They really, it's really very heavy. Bliss is really light and Peter Thomas Roth is very jelly, heavy, thick base, even though it's a water cloud cream as well. With that being said, I hope I gave you guys enough information to make a decision on your own. All I am is just, you know, to see which one you would prefer. So let me know down in the comments which one you would buy, Peter Thomas Roth, or would you buy Bliss, or Bliss and Peter Thomas Roth. With that being said, I'm gonna thank you guys so much for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you check out SavvyNaturalisa.com for all your skincare needs. Make sure you follow me on all my social media sites. Check out my Instagram and heart a couple of my picks and I love you guys so much and I'll see you in our next video. Bye you guys. Mwah.